Today I want to look at a slide of the cross-section cut of a nerve fiber. There are three terms here I want to go over before we look at the slides. Starting from the inside out, we have three connective tissue coverings involved in a nerve in the peripheral nervous system. That would be the endoneurium, which is a loose connective tissue that encloses an axon with their myelin sheath. We have perineurium, which is a coarser connective tissue that groups groups of individual nerve fibers inside their endoneuriums into fascicles. And then the entire nerve is encapsulated in this really tough fibrous sheath around the outside of it. So we'll see all three of these connective tissue coverings. This is the first slide I want to look at. We're going to use the 4x objective to magnify this cross section of a nerve fiber. And even at 4x, we can see some very interesting things. We can see the tough outer covering, which is the epineurium. And then we can see fascicles bound in perineurium. And we really can't see any endoneuriums or nerve fibers yet, although we can see some venules and some capillaries scattered throughout the nerve at this magnification. Next we're going to bump our magnification up to using the 10x objective. Okay, here we're looking at the same slide using the 10x objective and at this magnification we can see a lot more things here. We can see the perineurium which arranges nerve fibers into fascicles. We can see lots of little capillaries and venules and things like that. And then these white dots represent nerve fibers. And they're not stained. The reason being fat doesn't stain well. Okay, and since fat doesn't stain well, it often comes up as just a blank white spot. Some of these will just be completely empty. Um, some of them we, we will find some bits of axon left in them. And we're going to look at that when we see this slide using the 40x objective. Okay, here we're using the 40x objective on that same slide. Now we can really see this perineurium dividing these things into fascicles. These are little capillaries or venules, things like that. And these little clear circles are the uh, myelinated axons that are surrounded by endoneurium. A few of them, if we look, like right here, see that little dark purple? staying in the middle of that one. There's some inside of that one. And we can find several like that. Those are the axons inside of an endoneurium and they would be myelinated. We can also see some non-myelinated nerve fibers cut through here as well. There would be one, there is one. You have to look kind of closely and you can see some little axons mixed in there. But remember these big white circles are the myelinated axons inside their endoneuriums. And that wraps up this slide. This next slide is not nearly as good as the previous slide, but it's one that we have here at the school and you might actually pick this up and look at it. So I wanted to give you a quick rundown of it and show you what we can find. Here is a slide at 4x and we can see the little tiny white dots those are the places you would find the myelinated axons within this cross-section. Here is that same slide using the 10x objective and the little endoneuriums holding the myelinated axons are a lot clearer at this. The fascicles and the perineuriums are not nearly as clearly stained in this slide but you can kind of see them here at using the 10x objective. Here is that same slide at the 40x objective and so it actually has some benefit. It's not too bad at this magnification if you can get down this far. Uh, at this magnification we can see some perineurium. We can see a lot of individual myelinated axons. Remember myelin is fat and fat doesn't stain very well. And inside some of these endoneuriums we can actually see some axon left over where it would be normally wrapped. Right there's one, there is one, there's one. We can see some there. And we can see some little unmyelinated 
axons mixed in as well. This wraps up our review of two of the slides here at the school of cross-sections of a nerve.